Welcome to another episode of the 380 Ammo Quest, where I'm looking for the most effective round through a little 2.8 inch barrel micro pistol. By effective, I'm looking to find something that will actually hit the performance standards from the Wound Ballistics Conferences of 1987 and 1993, where they determined that a bullet should penetrate at least 12 inches and no more than 18 inches. And the IWBA, International Wound Ballistics Association, refined that to say we want a minimum of 12 inches and it's got to be able to do that through bare gel and also through four layers of heavy denim. So I've got IWBA spec heavy denim. I've got professional ballistic gel. I've got the Taurus TCP for the micro pistol. And today I'm looking at critical defense from Hornady. Now, I test this in the bare gel and I think I ended up calling it critical dud fence because it was awful. It did not perform well at all, did not penetrate deeply. So why is it here in the finals? Because A, a lot of people were pretty upset about that. I mean, a lot of people have bought into the marketing and think, hey, critical defense must be the best round. So I thought, you know what? It's got such a great reputation. It has such an established market position. We should give it another shot. But B, primarily, is because it has this polymer tip. And that's the, really the whole point of critical defense and, and you know a lot of Hornady's new rounds is that it's got this polymer tip to prevent clogging so that it will perform reliably and consistently through denim. Well, how best to test that than to put it through denim? So we'll find out. You know, was, was the bear gel performance a fluke and, and it really performs great through denim or is it going to perform like it's supposed to, which is they say it will be consistent through denim or not denim, which means that it should perform kind of lousy in both. <laughs> I hope not for the sake of everyone who's using this ammo, but uh, hey, there's no answers like actually going out and getting answers. Let's go get them. Penetration for the critical defense is a bit of a mixed bag. Uh, on the one hand, every bullet through the heavy denim did better than any bullet in the bear gel did. So we've definitely got an improvement in performance. But with that said, we didn't quite get what we're looking for. One bullet came up short at 10 and an eighth inches. And well, two others came up barely short. One of them was 11 and 5 eighths. One of them was 11 and 7 eighths. We had one that actually hit on the mark at 12 inches. And then we had one that didn't expand at all. We had a case of bullet failure, and this one went all the way to 17 inches. That's not over penetration. That's still within the 12 to 18, so that's actually pretty decent, but it should be noted, it didn't expand. It did fail to expand. Not much to complain about as far as expansion goes, except for obviously the one big elephant in the room, the one that failed entirely. The rest of them expanded nicely to a nice big size. They're not perfectly uniform, but in general, I have no complaints about how the critical defense expanded. Excepting, obviously, the one that just didn't. The Palmer tip may or may not be responsible for a big increase in performance. These are definitely looking better than the average XTP round. Most of the XTPs that I've been testing have not expanded this consistently in gel. So I'll say the polymer tip didn't hurt anything. And had it been not for this one here, we probably would have had a nice five for five and would have no complaints about expansion. Wrap up on critical defense. Uh, it, it redeemed itself somewhat, um, certainly better than it did in the bear gel. Uh, one round only hit over 10 inches. I got uh, two that came close to 12 and one that was on 12. So. It's not bad. Then I had one that go that went 17, but that's because it failed to expand. So we had one case of bullet failure and one that didn't come anywhere close to hitting the standard that I wanted, and three that were close. The polymer tip, I guess it made a difference because, I mean, the results were really unacceptable in the bear gel. So through the denim, it came closer. Um, it's, it's a decent round. It's not what I'm going to use, not what I'm going to go for. But in the worst case scenario, it did perform better than it did in the best case scenario. And that's, that's interesting. So critical defense, yeah, you know, he didn't live up to your reputation. 
You didn't fail utterly, but you didn't live up to your reputation. So I give it a meh. That's 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 the review. Eh. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned. More episodes coming up all the time. And we've got the blog at shootingthebull.net. Please hit subscribe so you'll be notified when new stuff is posted.